Hi, you squishers, and welcome to day four of Squishmas with me, Kate, with all of the socks under the stairs. And today we're going to pick up where I left off when we talked about the fact that I had changed my mind about what I was going to knit. I have since cast on a few things, one which I'm doing right now, which I'm awfully glad about because after we chatted yesterday about the everlasting tube scarf, I decided I was not going to make one for one good reason. There's no new pattern in that. I can't. What I'm trying to do at the moment is make sure that as many knits as possible are new so that I can make sure that you have new patterns, new fun things to do with Squish. So I thought, no, I will not do another everlasting tube scarf. But I did bring it along to show you rather than me like looking around under the stairs going, where, 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 where are the knits? So upon discovering the everlasting tube scarf, I also discovered a number of other knits uh, along with all the other socks. I couldn't find and some other oh, oh and some yarn that I was like oh yes I was wondering where I'd stuck all that stash of yarn in one of my baskets I also discovered a few other few a few other few few other a few other fun knits oh my gosh it's been a strange slow day today this morning I woke up and felt like I'd been hit by a bus so the day has gradually woken me up I've managed to get the Christmas decorations out of the attic but what working out which knits I'm working on right now is a little bit much for me. So let's take a tumble back. I found this in my knit bag because I was like, yes, that was from years ago. So it's just like, got to show the squishers because you might want to make one of these. Because yesterday, the Everlasting Tube Scarf, which is hya, 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 hya. Oh my gosh, what a tangle. This, I just, I, I must confess, I just enjoy rolling this up. I do like I, I really enjoy rolling it up I wear it but I roll it up a lot into like a big giant sushi roll oh, oh, oh. but this this is what I was thinking of yesterday for one reason because I love I'll do some color runs for you these are not in the shop I don't think so lots of these are colors I did like years ago and I love to knit them as I went for the very purpose of keeping a record so I can look back and go oh I want some of that so I wanted to knit another one of these because I never had to look at my knitting. And I remembered when I did the car park chats. Do you remember the car park chats? I do. Oh my gosh. Back to the time where we were in a different school and I had to wait 40 minutes in a car park. 40 minutes to pick Minnie up from school, which after a while I was like, this just cannot be it because I knit in the car all the time anyway. So this was one of my car knits. So I love the fact that every day when I was chatting on the phone or in the car waiting for Minnie, I had something to knit and I didn't even have to look at it. It was just a straight knit, 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 knit. And as you can see, it kept me company for quite a few car rides. Also, side note, if you enjoy these videos, because whichever reason, I, I, I'm not, I, I'm not sure. If you do, there's a whole hump, a whole hump, a whole hump of car park chat videos underneath in my there's like a little bar of videos oh my gosh there's loads there there were so many on there that it kicked a whole whole bunch of them off so if you like a little chuckle and like to see the the scarf in progress it's probably in there somewhere along with all the jumpers and all the rest of it so this was a knit that i enjoyed having with me to keep me company because it just went on and on and on and on and because i love tube so much i made things like this which is of course a christmas stocking look at that like this is so simple and I'm not sure it's worth putting a pattern in the shop because I'd have to give you directions about heels. Or maybe I can just make it super simple. But mostly, if you can make a normal sock, like for real, if you can make a normal sock, just cast on lots more stitches and just treat it like a little sock. No, a big sock. Like it's the same. So I just made a stocking and I only ever made one. So I was thinking because today I've got the Christmas decorations down, it's beginning to feel a lot like Squishmas. And I'm thinking very seriously, I'm looking around. Where is it? Could it be here? Thinking very serious. No, it's not. It's not. Why didn't I couldn't find it? I thought it might be in here doing some baubles. I'm still looking. I'll stop baubles for the Christmas tree because I got a really lovely pink and green one it's got spots in the middle and it's got a little, little tuft at the top and I got some red and white cord it's currently undecorated my Christmas tree and I thought since it's up so early this year I'm doing vlogmas squishmas under the stairs and I'm gonna have loads of things to knit why not oh, I'd love to knit 
Christmas decorations because I never normally have the time. Isn't that the story of everyone's never normally have the time? So I was like, right, let's get on, let's get on, let's crack on with the projects. So what I did cast on yesterday, no, that was today. That's how much I felt like I've been hit by a bus this morning. It was worth it, but I feel very tired. I cast on another, this is the, this is the plan. Or maybe, should I tell the plan? I might change it, right? So don't hold me to it. I love the straight knit hats I've been doing because they are so much fun. It will be, got it. I love these because they're so simple and so fast and so fun. And I don't have to look at them very much when I'm knitting. These, this is a free pattern in the shop, 50 grams of squish, 50 grams of squish. These are free, no purchase of squish necessary. Just go and grab a pattern, it's loads of fun. I love this, but I thought, wouldn't it be nice if it was like double-sided, thicker, because John loves thicker hats. I'm determined to make a hat that John likes. It will, ooh, it will happen. It will, it will, this could be the one. I wanted to make an inverted double rim, blah, 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 rib cozy, inside out, double-sided, looks different hat. You know what I mean? So I'm going to, I'm going to use the Palmer Violet set, which I've started using. It's, this is the one that's in the shop. This is a 50 gram bundle I'm using all these babies. And I'm working through from the pinky purples through to the middle where I've got this one, which, oh, this one is a new colour in the pack. These have been popping into my collection every now and again. But this one is more I, positive. Some of the original inspiration came from Monsters, Inc. The greens and the purples. So this one has got a bit of a pow in it. So this is featuring in the middle of my colour selection. I'll post a little picture of my colour selection along with a knit. But I'm using different needles and a different cast on amount of stitches to give it a bit of extra wiggle space. But of course, I could indeed change my mind. But this is the kind of knit I can do because I don't have to look at you. I was going to say I don't have to look at you. I can look at you whilst I'm knitting, which is a lot better because yesterday I managed to do a few missed stitches, which is OK. I don't mind going back and changing it. But I did have a few missed stitches. So today in here has been a lot of stuff. It's Saturday. So the girls are home. We're all home. The Christmas decorations have come down. I say it a few times because I'm so excited. Being a grown up means you can do Christmas decorations whenever you want. Mine never used to come out of the attic in my parents' house until about the week before Christmas. So I, I, I feel like now that I have my own, my own house with a own tree, I'm like, I'm going to maximise on the fun. Like I may even in some points in next year, maybe the year after, start bringing it down in like mid-November because there's nothing better than the Christmas cheer. And I get more time to decorate the Christmas tree, which means more time to knit in advance. So there you go. There's my plans. Knit decorations for the Christmas tree. Oh, I almost forgot. Do the other whip is what I was going to tell you. I cast on another project. This is what I cast on last night. I knew I was getting confused. But they do look similar in some... No, they don't. They do not look similar. They do not look similar. But you can see how it feels like everything looks a bit the same sometimes. Especially when I'm pulling it. This is why you didn't see it. I didn't see it because this is what it looked like. Here you go. Welcome to Kate's world. It looked like this. I did this on purpose so I'd remember to tell you about it. But it also made it camouflage. So... I have cast on a spiral hat, as I said yesterday, yay, using that grey to give a nice bit of spacer in it. And this one is a little bit larger than my other one to make sure that I can offer some different sizes because I am not a pattern designer and I'm saying that like I'm not. I am not. I am just one gal knitting, having fun, trying to work out how to show you how to have some fun, you know? So I am making sure that I can do a couple of different sizes so that if there are options, then you can work out which ones are better for you. And I can just try some on as well. Yay! So this is a spiral hat so far, and I'm doing them in chunks of four because even though I mentioned yesterday there was a reason behind knitting this, I'm not even sure I even mentioned what the point was. The point was I have got loads of tips and tricks about how to knit the spiral knits and that includes the spiral socks stop looking around Kate it's futile where I can help you work out how to do the ink the, the next bit and how it looks and how sometimes if it's all in loads of colours it might look a bit overwhelming whereas in two colour swaps it might be easier for me to show you so I'm going to try 
not to buzz through this too fast and also take some videos to show you how I knit the spiral and that way by the time this is in the shop for you to download for free you'll be like oh I know how to do it it's fine and you'll have your yarn stash ready so I've gone from I'm only knitting one thing boom to unleash the yarn fest I, I'm quite I think I may do another maybe I, I'd like to do another one of these because then I have two I have two one on either side I don't know on what side of what because I already have stockings, but I, I don't care, I'll work it out. And also, you know, I, I can, I've got a while to figure this stuff out. It's only the 4th of December. So, squishes. I hope you were doing great with your squishing plans. Um, I hope that you're actually casting something on, on the quiet, if you haven't done so. And if you haven't started making, don't worry, there's loads of time. These gift knits, they don't take too long once you start going. And if you're looking for a good gift knit... Check out the free patterns on the website. It's www.katesleen.co.uk. Loads of free patterns. Try them out. And by tomorrow, I'll be back with some more knitting, more progress, and something else to show you. Yay! Well, have a fabulous Saturday, wherever you are. And I shall see you tomorrow for another Squishmas Under the Stairs. Bye!